what is this? Uh, uh, come on. Today's the day that Allie comes back to Walt Disney World, which is really cool. The bad thing is, I gotta pick her up in like 30 minutes, and this room is really messy. I don't have any more time to clean. It's time to go back to the airport. Oh, first I gotta move these. Come on, get out of the way. Where do I? She'll never notice. Oh, it's 7.30 in the morning, but it feels like 5.30 in the morning. That Florida heat, it really drains you. One day in the heat here, feels like 20 days in California. Well, I hope she likes this place. I know, I sure do. You know, Allie and I dated for two years. We lived like seven hours apart. We would only get to see each other for like a couple of days every once in a while. Not even sure when we would see each other. Now I'm separated from her for like a week and I'm like, uh What's happened to you, Justin? You're going soft. Well, hopefully she's all right because I put her on the red eye overnight from LA. And the only uh, flight we could get was on uh, Frontier Airlines and, mm. and it's on a uh, notoriously mm. Not that nice of a plane. And it's, uh, well, let's just say it's not first class. Ooh. But she's coming. I'm excited. Hopefully she got at least a little sleep on the plane. By the way, what's up with the funk that's on the windshield every morning in Florida? No matter how much you wipe the windshield, there's always like a scum on there. That just makes me think of the little rascals. Dear Darla, you are scum between my toes. Oh, I'm tired. This is just weird. It's almost eight in the morning and there is like no traffic. Like what's going on here, you know? I thought Florida was full of like elderly, retired people, morning people. Where are they? Oh, man, maybe this is traffic for Florida. Well, when there's no traffic like this, it takes about 30 minutes-ish to get to the airport from Walt Disney World. And I was just thinking about how it's basically the same distance from Disneyland to LAX, except for I've spent two hours driving to LAX before in traffic, so. I don't know why there's no cars on the road right now, but I'm just gonna be grateful. Ah, uh, here we are, Orlando International Airport. Always seems to be mostly made of trees and grass, but still. And I even got here 15 minutes early. How about that? See all these little orange construction cone things? They all have a little white sticker on them that says Bob's Barricades. And I just saw some yesterday near some construction in Walt Disney World. Bob's Barricades, let me tell you guys. Bob is doing a booming business in barricades. All right, all right, now I gotta figure out where to park. Right. Oh, I know why there weren't any cars on the road now. They're all in the airport parking lot. You're supposed to remember where you parked because of these little weird signs. I'm level two, but I do not know what the heck animal that's supposed to be. An obese bear with a baseball in its hand. Sure. Oh, ooh, look at this. Moving sidewalk. It feels so fancy. Moving on up to the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, this is freaky. Even the airport is empty. Where is everybody today? It's like an episode of the Twilight Zone. Here we go. She should be landing right now. I haven't got a text yet, though. She should be coming out somewhere over here. Hmm, I don't know what most of this means. Everyone's flight either says on time or landed, but Allie says E-N. I have no idea what that means. But since she's texting me now, I'm assuming that's fine. Okay, now it says on ground. I feel better now. Look at this airport is awesome. They have a SeaWorld store. They have a couple of Kennedy Space Center stores. They have two Disney stores and two Universal stores that I know of as well. This airport is so good. They want a moon man. Wow. Oh, poor little Allie, so tired. Do you sleep? This is the part that takes forever. Getting your bag. Look at how crazy this little luggage carousel thing is. It's friggin' nuts. It's two pronged. Weird. Dun, dun, dun. Ow. You didn't sleep at all. No sleep. You look so tired. You're supposed to be on a red eye flight so that you could sleep. Silly. Aww. Poor little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I bought an annual pass to Gatorland. Can we just go there the entire weekend? Sure. No I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I did buy an annual pass to Gatorland. Okay, we gotta go back up to Bear. Push the bear. Hey, you knew which one it was. 
Better than I would have done. Ooh, wow. And back to Disney World. Ooh, Allie, you're back. At Walt Disney World. I don't want to alarm you, but there's a couple of animals loose in this hotel. Okay, just a couple of animals. No big deal. Is one of them you? Yes. <laughs> Allie's first look at Jumbo House. What do you think? Isn't that cool? Yeah. I feel like, hi, how are you? How's your tiny friend Bob? How is Bob? It's the circle. Oh, it's so pretty. It's nice, right? See? A giraffe. They said it's a giraffe. So cute. There's more. See the baby giraffe over there in the corner with his family? It. No one ever gets excited about the zebras. They just go straight to the giraffes. The giraffe! They're cute too. An iron? Looks like there's a girl here or something. Aren't you ready to go ride Tower of Terror? Mm -hmm. The real Tower of Terror? The original? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You're still not going. I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go. There's a lot of stuff from home where the original is actually in Florida. California may have the original Disneyland, but Florida has the original Space Mountain, the original Tower of Terror, a bunch of stuff like that. The original Country Bear Jamboree. Allie, you love Tower of Terror, and it's going away in California, but now you can get to know the original Tower of Terror. You like Animal Kingdom Lodge so far? Yeah. You like the Africa theme? Pretty sweet. Now back to Hollywood Studios. Oh yeah, Disney's Hollywood Studios! I don't think that entrance is long for this earth. Whoa! A lot of construction going on for future Star Wars and Toy Story Land. Ellie, that beef jerky smells like a burp. Teriyaki. Ew. I'm just bitter because the teriyaki one has wheat in the soy sauce. Okay. Ta-da! We're back at Disney with... Ta-da! We're already back at Disney's Hollywood Studios. What do you think of the entrance, Allie? It's pretty. You like it? It looks like DCA. Well, I think DCA actually looks like this. Oh, well, yeah. DCA copied Hollywood Studios. Ooh. I was just here yesterday, but I purposefully didn't go anywhere near Tower of Terror because I knew that's what Allie wanted to do today. Ta-da! Wow! Oh, it's busy in here today. You look like you're liking it. Yeah, I like it. See? The Chinese theater. What do you think? Looks cool. It looks like the real one, huh? Uh -huh. Weird. I just remembered that before we ride Tower of Terror, we have a fast pass for Rock and Roller Coaster. Oh, welcome to Sunset Boulevard, the Florida edition. There's Tower of Terror down there. You excited? Yes. It looks bigger. It is bigger and better, I think. This is my favorite part, though. This is my favorite thing in Hollywood Studios. Look, Anaheim Produce. That's me. Every time I come here, I look for this sign over here. From Anaheim's wide open spaces. That's me. There's the original Disney version of Carthay Circle right here in Florida. They actually have a lot of stuff tucked away back in this corner of the park. There's the Beauty and the Beast show that I still haven't seen. Of course, Tower of Terror. Then they have their own version of Phantasmic out here somewhere, which I can't remember where that is. And of course, Aerosmith's. Rock and Roller Coaster! It's a Disney roller coaster themed around Aerosmith. I have no idea whose idea this was, but it's just crazy enough to work. Look at that giant guitar over there. That is freaking awesome. Hot enough for you, Allie? A little warm, huh? My dad loves Aerosmith, so I grew up with Aerosmith. I should probably get him one of these hats. I've only ever been on this roller coaster twice because I never want to wait in the hour long line. This time, we have the fast pass. I'll ride pretty much anything in a Disney park as long as I have a fast pass and as long as it's not a Ferris wheel or swing or up high in some other way that I'm uncomfortable with. Ooh, here we go through the Aerosmith inspired queue line. We're entering Aerosmith's recording studio like VIP. Here we go. Deeper into the studio. There's Aerosmith right there. 
worse. I <laughs> Sorry, folks. Come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's no. right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Send them all with you? Make it happen. Give me some. Okay. Okay. See, this is where we get on our awesome limo and take the fast way. And uh, we take a shortcut through Hollywood to Aerosmith's show. Oh, I'm just happy that it's air conditioned in here. It feels cool. Yeah, that's gonna be us any second. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Ready for this, Allie? You ready? Almost like California screaming at home, only there's a corkscrew and it's inside and there's a lot of black lights and it's nothing like California screaming at all. Oh, our pick is so fun. What a fun pick. The cool thing about photos here is you can tap your magic band to these little Mickeys and get the photo right on your account. Okay, so the good news is we do have a fast pass to Tower of Terror. The bad news is not yet. But the good news is there's another ride that I really want you to go on that I think you'll like. It's a little bit weird. But the bad news is there's aliens in the ride. But the good news is Mary Poppins is in the ride. Really? Yeah. Oh, check out this couple cruising down Sunset Boulevard. That's like a U-sized car. You need that car. Ooh, look at this. It feels like home. For this next ride, we're actually gonna make our way back to the Chinese theater because yesterday while we were looking at it, I forgot to tell you guys that there is actually a ride inside of it. But it looks like we're gonna need a second before we can check it out because it sounds like some more Star Wars stuff is happening out here somewhere. Oh, holy crap. I didn't see this yesterday. That is honestly so much more intimidating than you think it would be. Like, that's scary. Be cool, Allie, it's the fuzz. Dude, that was so freaking cool. Anyways, inside of the Chinese theater is actually a ride. It's called the Great Movie Ride. Dude, and it is freaking awesome. And what better place to take a tour through cinema history than inside Grauman's Chinese Theater, right? Pretty sure you're gonna love this ride, Allie. You'll see why in a little bit. Ooh, look at this. It looks just like the real Chinese theater on the inside. Only this one's basically a museum to different film props and film posters. Like, look at this dress from Singing in the Rain. Would you wear that dress? Of course you would. Ooh, how about this gown from the Ten Commandments? Did you wear that? Yeah. We're now into the theater. What's your favorite? All right. Time to get on this ride. Okay. All aboard the great movie ride. I love this freaking ride. This to me is pretty much the best part of Hollywood Studios. Up. Oh. Well, oh, here come the lights. At this time, I'd like to ask that everyone please remain seated throughout the show. Again, my name is Brandon Robert Osborne. Thank you. Hooray for Hollywood indeed. For the rain, I rain. Here's Gene Kelly singing in the rain. Uh, the Mary Poppins. Starring Julie Andrews. Hey. Uh. How are you? Come here. I'm not allowed to leave my vehicle. I suck it over here. I think it's time for a visit to a concession stand. Uh. Mr. Osborne, wait a Okay, Muggsy, whatever you say. Make sure the little one stays in it. John Wayne and Clint Eastwood are two of the iconic stars. Science fiction has been a staple of classic movies made on ancient planes and in space. Steven Spielberg and George Lucas cemented their status as the blockbuster boys with their first partnership. Got bad for my first movie, huh? 
Interesting. Filmmakers alike demonstrated an early interest in the macabre. <laughs> Sidekick Cheetah, who was portrayed by a dozen chimpanzee actors over the years. We come over the rainbow and we see the and most lost ones in the Good stuff. Allie, what time is it? Time for Tower of Terror. Good times in the old Chinese theater, but now you finally get to ride the original version of your favorite ride. Are you stoked? Yes. Heck yeah. There it is. There it is. The Hollywood Tower Hotel. And to me, this one feels a lot more like a real hotel because there's so much more space. Or, well, you'll see what I mean. For starters, it has these cool guard houses at the bottom, just like they have in Hollywood, near the Hollywood sign. And then this whole area underneath the Tower of Terror is all themed out like a real property in the Hollywood Hills. I feel like I've been down a lot of little streets and driveways that look like this in LA. Look at Alley. The sign. The sign. You like it? It's awesome, right? Look at this thing. A Hollywood Tower Hotel. Okay, fast pass. This single ride line. Yeah. Uh huh. Approved. Let me check this out. I love this. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Ooh. Look at it, Allie. See, so much more detail because there's so much more room here for it. Like, look at all the little touches hidden in the old garden of the hotel. So many nooks and crannies and ooh. Drinking fountains, that's useful. Oh no, someone lost their hat. Ooh, what if it has lice? Never mind. Ooh, look at this. This version of the Hollywood Tower Hotel has quite the uh, epic grounds, so to speak. Oh, look. Dude, look up, Ali, look up. Look at that. That is freaking awesome, right? Yes. Right around here to the porch. And here you enter from the front balcony, huh? Enter if you dare, Allison. Yeah, this part seems rather familiar, no? It's much more elaborate than the one in California or the one in Paris. What do you think? You feel at home in here? You probably legitimately wish we were staying in this hotel, don't you? Yeah. You wish we could stay here. Lightning and everything. So many more little details in this version of the ride. Ooh, look. There's a Ouija board in there. Creepy. Don't touch it. Can you see the Twilight Zone prop up there? Creepy. Service elevator. This way. Oh, oh, that doesn't look like a good sign. Came down rather suddenly, don't you think? Whoa. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Showing up. Ooh, this is a little different from California. This time, it's opening for you. Gracious. What do you think, Allie? It was way better than ours. You think so? 
<laughs> Fighting words. I don't know which one is us because we're being Mike Wazowski by the words. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. I don't see us. Okay. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Look at all these sweet Twilight Zone hidden references. Supposedly there's about a billion Twilight Zone Easter eggs in this whole place, but I don't know what they all are. Because I've obviously not spent that much time in this Twilight Zone. Pretty awesome in here though, right? And now, we exit through the lobby. Look how elaborate this is down here. Look at all the space in here. There's the restaurant entrance right there. And here's the menu from October 31st, 1939. Ooh, and some gifts. No, no, we don't want to buy anything. We're just dropping in. It's awesome. Even the gift shop is more elaborate in the Florida version. What do you think, Allie? Have you fallen for this version? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So there was no need to lower your expectations huh? when you dropped in? Uh, uh, see? See? <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, and then of course here you actually exit at a lower level than you entered the ride up there on the balcony. So there are quite a lot of differences, mostly just more space, which adds to that feeling that you're actually at a real abandoned hotel. So that's it. What'd you think? I liked it. I was worried you were gonna hate it because I was worried you were gonna be like, no, I like mine better. I don't like the Florida version. You uh, liked I like it? This one. It's good, huh? Yeah, when it comes to hotels, I've really fallen for this one too. I will keep on making that joke until you laugh, darn it. All right, it's Allie's first day back in Florida. She didn't sleep very much on the plane. I didn't sleep very much because I was excited she was coming here. So I think that's basically where we're gonna call the video for today and spend a little time with each other. Well, thank you all for coming with us, checking in and dropping out for Allie's first ride on the Florida version of Tower of Terror. See y'all later. Bye-bye.